what's going on everybody welcome back to adobe's learn from the pro series my name is max novak in part one I taught you the essential setup utilizing the roto brush tool to isolate your subject from the background in part two we talked all about adding smooth motion by utilizing simple keyframes and motion blur within after effects and today we're going to build on that by adding some animated logos behind our roto brush layer let's go ahead and hop right into after effects to get started so let's go back to project and then we're gonna create a new composition here by clicking this button and let's name that logo. And as an example here, I'm just going to use the After Effects logo because that's what we're working in. Of course, you guys can use your own logos or if you are using Google Images, if you click this tools button, you can go to usage rights, search by Creative Commons, which is very useful. You can go to color, search by transparent. If you wanna find some transparent background, ENGs. I'm going to right click on this, save image as. So once you guys have imported your logo, go ahead and drag that into your new composition. And I'm going to show you some cool tricks that you can use to take this normal image and add animation, make it vibrant, make it pop out. So first, what we're going to do here, we're going to select our logo layer here. Next, we're going to go up to layer and we're going to go to auto trace. First, let's set the channel to alpha and you can see my settings here for tolerance threshold. Go ahead and click OK. And that's going to create a mask around the outside. So pretty useful. Let's also create a mask for the inside. So go up to layer auto trace again. And this time let's change the channel to luminance and click OK. We now have an easy mask around the letters. So now that we have all of this masked out completely, just with a few clicks, we're going to go over to our effects and presets. And I'm going to search for the stroke effect under generate. So take that and place it on your logo. And then in the top left in your effect controls, what we can do is check on all masks. Also, you can select this layer, click M, and just make sure all of these are set to none. You don't want them to be add, subtract. For our brush size, let's just increase that for now. And then paint style, let's go ahead and click on transparent. So if I toggle the transparency, you can see we now have an easy outline of our logo. So pretty simple. You can also put it to reveal original image if you wanna keep some of those colors in there. And then we'll just increase the brush size. So just like that, we have a little cutout of our logo. So let's go back to our tutorial composition. Let's grab that logo composition we just set up and just drag that in a layer beneath our rotoscoped layer. So as simple as that, you can now have this outline of your logo behind your subject here. You can do this with anything. If we double click into the logo composition, we can actually use this stroke effect here to create a quick little animation. So you'll see this start and end value. Let's go ahead and at the beginning of this timeline, change the start to 100%. You'll see how it kind of draws everything. So put it to 100%, keyframe the start. We're gonna drag a tiny bit and then take the start and put that down to zero. We made a simple little keyframe animation where our logo draws itself just like that. Really cool. Go back into our tutorial comp. See what that looks like. Let's start the logo right around here. You guys can see how our logo sort of builds out right behind our subject. We're gonna go ahead and open up the transform for that layer. Click down and keyframe. And we're just gonna add a tiny bit of position keyframes so that that stays centered behind our subject as the camera moves. There you go, moves with our subject. Let's add some finishing touches onto this. I'm gonna add the glow effect. So under effects and presets, search for glow. Go ahead and drop that onto your logo layer. And what you wanna do with the glow, always go over to your glow radius and just increase that a tiny bit. So we have sort of a neon sign here. You can also take your glow threshold, increase that if you want. And then the last step here, if you wanna add some crazy color, we can go to our effects and presets once more, search for the HLS effect color balance HLS, drop that onto our logo. In our effect controls, we'll make keyframes once again. So for hue, set a keyframe, drag a tiny bit, and all you wanna do is just take that value and crank the wheel. So now, as we play, turn it into this crazy sort of neon sign. Let's go ahead and enable motion blur for that so that it has a little bit more realistic blur. And there you guys go. We took our logo and changed it into this flashing neon sign behind our roto clip. We added some cool, crazy movement, some animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to talk about creating smooth transitions. We'll speak on some of my favorite techniques for doing that using this already made setup that we have going on here. If you guys did enjoy, slap a like on the video. I have a YouTube channel where I create tutorials. You can find the links down below. Max Novak on YouTube, underscore Max Novak on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.